Hey, what's up everyone? Chip Walters here and today we're going to try something a little different with Blender. What we want to do is set up a quick render scene. So let's get started. The first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we're using the Cycles Renderer. So here it is up here, Cycles Renderer. And we also might want to go into our user preferences and check to make sure that we're using the Cycles Render here as well. So in the System tab, we'll go over to CUDA and we'll make sure that we have check marks next to our graphics cards so that we can use the power of the graphic cards to do the rendering. Next, we'll go into this camera right here and we wanna make sure that our device is set to GPU compute. Once that's done, let's just go over here, let's go up here and hit the rendered button and we should see something like this. Now, interesting, you'll see that the Boolean objects in that particular scene are now being represented as the positives and not the negatives and let's talk about why that is i'm going to go back here and i'm going to hit the z key to go to wireframe and z key back to solid now i can delete them but it might even be better just to move them to another layer so what we'll do is we'll just select them Oops. hit the m key for move and let's move them to this last layer now they're not available and if i hit the shift z key we go back to that render and you can see now that we're seeing the object as it should look okay now let's assign some materials to do that i'm going to go over here and i'm going to choose the viewport shading to be material so right now everything is white as we can see so i'll go over here and i'll select something and i'm going to click on this material tab right here and i'm going to create a new what's called a slot this is an empty slot for a material and i'll hit this new button what we're going to do is we're going to leave this as a diffuse BSDF. We'll change this in a little bit, but let's just let's just pick a, pick a color and we'll go get this one. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to hit a, hit a new material slot and a new material. And this one, I'm going to use this principled BSDF uh, because I want to make this metallic. So I'm going to go in here and push the metallic up to the top. By the way, this is interesting on, on a color picker. So if you choose a color like green and you want to get back to a neutral color, you just drag this slider all the way down and then back up. So now we've just chose a kind of a, a neutral gray in there. Specular, and I'm going to move the roughness up a little bit and we'll take a look at how that works in just a second. And then lastly, I'm going to select this plane and we're going to give it a color. And I'm going to call this ground plane so I can remember what it is and we will make this a medium gray and we're done now let's set up the lighting first I'll hit shift Z which will begin to render and we can see it's a little bit dark so let's go up here to the lamp and now here's our lamp properties and I'm gonna make it a Sun so now we can see that it's a little it's got a little darker on this area right there I also want to make it a little brighter and to do that I click this use nodes and I can actually crank up the strength now one of the things we're seeing is we're seeing this ground plane I don't I don't really want to see the ground plane so I'm going to select the ground plane and I'm going to go over to its properties and under cycle settings I'm going to click the shadow catcher button and so now the ground plane is actually transparent and it's using the background color so speaking of the background color i'm going to change that also i'm going to go to this button up here which is the world settings and this color right here is the background color so i'm going to change that a little bit lighter and i might add just a tiny bit of blue in there now also if we go back to the lamp you'll notice that in our light settings we can change the size of it and as we do it gives a more diffuse shadow so we may like that Let's leave it that way for now. Next, let's adjust the sun. I'm gonna click on this lamp again and with selected and in the render, I'm gonna hit the R button for rotate. And as I move it around, you can see, I'll actually type in X and you can start to see that the actual shadow's moving. And I can type in Y and see it moving in a different direction. When I'm using the sun, it's a directional light and so it is only affected by the rotate command. Stationary lights, like a lamp, you can actually move around the scene. 
tapping the zero key on the numpad will show you the scene as it's seen through the camera. Now we can zoom in and use our mouse controls to move that around. And once we get our frame about how we want it, something like that, we then go over here and we say lock camera to view. Now once that's done, now we can actually move the object around inside the scene. Now in this particular case, I'm gonna get a reflection in the ground. I'm gonna exit out, tap the zero key to exit out. The zero on the numpad will go back to the, to the camera view. And I wanna create a reflection down here. So what I'll do is I'll click here to select that plane. We've selected it. We're gonna to go to its material. I'm gonna make it instead of the, the diffuse BSDF, I'm gonna make a principled BSDF. Uh, I'm gonna come down here. I'm gonna choose the base color to kind of match what's going on here. So I can grab this and do there. So we have the same exact base color. And you can already start to see a little bit of reflection. I'm gonna just play with this metallic so I can get a little brighter reflection. That's gonna give me a stronger reflection. And then I'm gonna add a little roughness so I can blur out the reflection just a little bit. Now let's tab the zero key on the numpad again and you can see that we've got a, a rendering ready to go. Before we do our rendering, we wanna make sure we set up the exposure correctly. And for this, we go to the scene tab and scroll down to color management. And under the render view, instead of default, we want to be filmic and under the look we might want to say maybe medium high contrast there's a whole tutorial by the blender guru that talks about using the filmic look it's definitely worth watching if you have time so now all we need to do is render and i'm going to use the default render settings there's a whole another tutorial that we'll get into about what the render settings are and how to optimize them for your rendering so I'll click this render button. And there we go. That's our final render. And down here, I can click the image and I can say save as image and I can choose ping and I can call it anything I want to and save it. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.